Hey guys, welcome back to S Motorsports. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to fix your idle. So like I said, on the GM Gen 5 engines, the idle timing is seems like a big issue that if you go on the forums, um, a lot of guys have issues with their idle that you're idling at negative 10 degrees timing, which makes the car idle or truck idle not very good. So obviously you want to be idling at least at zero or you know more better would be 10 degrees of timing. So it makes the car idle way smoother. So I want to show you exactly how I fixed my idle. Uh, I tried a bunch of different things, doing the throttle body clean with the scanner tool. Um, you know, I, I tried messing with the idle tab and external load uh, a little bit, and I'll show you what I did there as well. But none of that really worked on its own. So what I had to do is uh, change the virtual torque tables. And it's pretty easy. I'll show you exactly what I did. So what I ended up doing is coming in. Um, so when you're at idle, your intake camshaft angle is at zero. So this is the only, um, you're only touching the zero tab. You don't have to mess with any of these other ones. It's always on the zero. So uncheck this link selections. And that's what I did wrong one time where I had that linked and it, it didn't do what I wanted it to do. Um, so I'm under air mass. So basically what you do is um, you're telling the engine that at these low timing marks that you are making less torque, which then the computer wants to give it more timing to bring it up to the torque level that it's requesting. So what I did was you come in and basically on the idle RPMs, which is these two, the 550 and 750, depending on where you're idling. So if you have a cam, you might be going up just a little bit higher. So on me, I'm still at the stock idle at 600. So I come in here and I went negative 50. So you add that, add negative 50, and that drops your value down even lower. Then on the zero one, same thing. I come in here and I add negative 40. So I dropped it down and then on the 10, I came in and I do negative 20 and add that. And that's it. And so now basically, now where it was, I only have negative 10, it thinks it's making way less torque. So it bumps up the timing to get to uh, the torque level it wants to, which is closer to the in between the zero and 10. So you extrapolate, calculate. Um, it does change some of these upper values as well, but since it's at such low RPM, it doesn't affect drivability at all because you're ne never at these values when you're driving. So again, you have to come into map at uh, intake zero, and you can grab the whole row. And that's where I kind of screwed up too, where I was originally only grabbing these two rows. Just grab the entire row. Same thing, you do negative 50, Add zero, negative 40, add that, 10, negative 20, add that, extrapolate, calculate, and you're good to go. That's all you have to do for the virtual torque. And what I've kind of found is I recently just put my virtual torque tables back to stock it seems like it, it runs the best when they're closer to stock so these are kind of the only values that i'm changing um so if you do that alone that will definitely bring your idle timing up it worked for me um, but one thing i noticed is i had a slight bit of a weird issue where um my idle would get kind of off once it, as it was warming up um probably because i have like cat light off um, turned off or something like that. But this is what I did on my external load table, which also seemed to alleviate or help that problem. You may or may not have to do this. So this would be my stock um, external load table. And this is my modified one. 
as you can see, basically in these lower RPM ranges, um, I have these set at 610 and 500 where I'm going to be idling. And basically, I took these values from a 2014 Corvette, which was a sample tune on HP tuners, and then kind of blended these a little bit. But um, the values in this range are off of a 2019 Camaro. So I'm not really doing anything out of the ordinary here um, because these are all normal values that an LT1 car would use. Um, that doing this didn't have any effect really on its own. Um, you needed to do that virtual torque uh, modification. But uh, this, these settings combined with the virtual torque, my idle is is really good. Um, the car idles so much better, sounds smoother. Um, I really like it. Um, so hopefully that helps you guys um, fixing your idle. Please drop a comment below if you do this and it works i'm really curious to make you know if this helps people fix their idol because as i was seeing on forums there really isn't great you know data or instruction on how to fix your idol like this like i said i tried changing these offsets and external loads on its own i didn't touch the idle speed control reserve i didn't do any of that um or i tried this it didn't work tried this on its own, didn't work. The only thing that worked for me was changing that, um, the virtual torque tables. So uh, until next time, guys, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks, guys.